bet in that the video. The full-length video. Did you see in that <laughs> video though, the little kids walking down the stairs that's playing Mike? And he's like, the kid version. And he's like, Who's, something, something's down there. What is he wearing? He's like, he's wearing some uh, Adidas and a Prince T-shirt. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I do remember. He was that. like yeah. a Prince T-shirt. I forgot about that. That was on the Moonwalker shit. <laughs> Isn't that funny yeah, though? Yeah, that Taking shots. I at forgot each about other. that. You read about that. That was good. Uh, but yeah, so this movie, uh, did the trailer come out? Uh, did they even start filming I yet? I don't, you, I don't say. I don't think the. I don't think the trailer's out because oh, I don't okay. think it's done filming. So this is just another movie. They just changed the script. So I mean. So and this is this for Netflix, or, or uh, this is for Amazon I didn't read it was Prime. for Netflix. I don't think it's for Netflix. I bet you it was HBO Max and you know half Theaters. HBO Max and theater. You know that's kind of the new little thing going on. So Leo's got some joints coming out. I I really want to see Leo and Denzel get in a movie together. Man, I really we need to I see need that. that so badly. Um, if we could get that, that that I, I don't know if I would need. I feel anything. like it's rare to even get some the biggest actors together for anything. Too. I need I need I need Leo in there with motherfucking Denzel. I need him in there with some of these new black actors. You know what I'm saying? That's really That'd killing shit. Big, yeah. If we could have had him in there with Chadwick, that would have been nice. Man. Um, but just to see him get a little more versatile and get with some other people that he hasn't gotten with before, some more talented people, you know. Well, that'd be tight if we could like get Leo playing like the you know how they're in the hood. There's always that one hood ass white dude. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if we need that one. That'd yeah. be something versatile. I mean, be it would something. be versatile. I don't know. I don't know. Or playing like a character. Have y'all seen that show? Uh, what's that show, man? Where they be in Chicago, the fucking white people, and there's like a they're like trailer trash type motherfuckers. Is it newer show? It's the, you talking about the one on Netflix? It's the, a popular the show. Trailer Park no, Boys? It's like an HBO type show. You talking about Trailer Park Boys? No, it's oh. not. I can't think of it. Like it. Oh. I can't think of it. But it's a very... Some shit popular. I would never watch. It's a very, know. very popular show. Uh, and the nigga that's in it, I'm thinking of... Whatever. It don't matter. But it'd be interesting to see Leo do a couple of things on the hood side, you know? Get him to play like, you know... Chicago cop and fucking a, you think a, he can do a crooked, a crooked think, Chicago cop in the hood. Side. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> can Leo be hood? Nah, he can't be hood, yeah, obviously. But just be in a hood movie, you know what I mean? Like, you gonna do like a remake of Hardball? He played motherfucking <laughs> Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was terrible. That was a good movie, though, but... Keanu Reeves sucked. That nigga stink at acting, bro. Uh, I, I'm not going to argue with you on yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He's not like an amazing actor, but he's definitely... I'm not watching he, nothing He's he the does. same nigga in every single... He's Keanu in every movie. Yeah, yeah. so it's no good. All right. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, I care a lot. Yeah, so let's just do this movie review, Taurus. You didn't see it, right? I couldn't get myself to watch this type of shit, man. So. Did you try? Nah, I put the trailer on. I said, "Ain't no way, <laughs> fucking hell, I'm watching." This I movie. didn't even watch the trailer. I just kind of maybe I shouldn't watch the trailer. I should just check it. Well, out. when you look at Netflix, it gives you like a little trailer. You know, like yeah. I went to YouTube, went to the trailer. I so, said I fucking hated it. So this is trailer. starring who is this starring? This is starring Rosamund Pike. Rosamund Pike. I don't, I, <laughs> yeah, I've seen this bitch, but I don't know exactly where she's from. Like what other movies she's been in. She was in what other big movies is she in? I don't know, but she looked better than that damn Sarah Paulson girl y'all was. No, she up. does not. No, she yeah. does nah, not. I'm gonna agree with that. She looks better than Sarah Paulson. She looks better, no. but that ain't saying much. <laughs> no, she doesn't. I would not. She looks better. I would definitely Come stick my dick in Sarah Paulson before I stuck nah, it in her. You wild. That's, that's facts. That's facts. She played a fake ass lesbian in this movie. It was just cringy, it, but. She did a good job at uh, making me hate her. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so you don't want to fuck her because you hate her. That's more. So like she it. played Jack Reacher. She played in some movies. That so I, look at this. She looked way better. I don't. She does not in this movie. Uh, you know what I mean. But anyways, so this movie actually, the story is actually crazy, and it's it's really on some American like system come up like it's crazy it's crazy because i gotta watch be it twice i gotta watch it twice and i think it i think there is some truth to this that they're Probably shedding not. light on so I almost guarantee there basically is. this lady works for a firm that basically they look after old people they be they're their legal guardians when mm-hmm. nobody else is their guardians but she's crooked with this shit she wants to be rich and powerful so bad that she's damn near plotting all old people 
taking them up out their homes, getting doctors on paying doctors under the table to just say that they fucking are. They need a guardian. They need a guardian. It's an emergency situation. They can't think for themselves. Can't take care of themselves. They can't yep. take care. So she's in this movie. They show her pulling up in somebody's home, saying, "Hey, I'm your guardian now." The police are outside. Don't make a scene. Um, you know, if you have a issue with this, you can file an appeal with the court. Right. But I'm taking you to your new home. But I'm taking Period. you to your new home. Straight up grabbing an old lady out of her home, mm-hmm. bringing her to a fucking. She got to deal with the fucking home. What is that? The elderly home people. The what do you call that? Nursing homes. The nursing homes. Yeah. She's got to deal with the r- people that run the nursing homes. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So yep. like they're under the table and she's just throwing old people in there and taking over their assets so when they die she gets basically what they own well because when you're the legal guardian you get control of all of their assets basically yeah so. and so mm. she's so she's throwing them in homes and then selling their properties and their homes and keeping the money for her and, and you know what i'm saying crazy crooked shit when i seen this shit i was like wow that's twisted mm-hmm and so basically she's successful at this and she's killing shit and she's got a dumbass judge. I hate that the judge is black, but the fucking judge is an idiot. And he's just fucking... Who played the judge? Uh, he's just I, one think of he's, I don't think he's a big name. You can go to the cast. Go to the cast. Uh, judge uh, Judge Lynn. Isaiah Whitlock, it sounds familiar. Click it on. Click. You'll see. You'll know his face. He's one of them niggas. You oh, yeah, them. I, uh, yeah. You've seen him before and I can't say what, but yeah. But... Uh, he definitely was a dumbass idiot just following whatever. But basically, what's dope about this movie is she runs up and t- she comes up on the doctor like, what you got for me? You got anybody from me? She's like, yeah, I got like a golden goose egg. I got a cherry for you. Like, this bitch, is, this is a big deal. Right, she she's owns, rich. She Sweet. owns Benzes. She's got three, you know, all these accounts. She's got no family. And they're like, oh, word? All right, put it in. So they put the order in. She runs up in the house, does the spiel like, "Hey, I'm taking your shit." Or I mean, I'm taking you to your home. Takes her to the home. Takes her house keys from her. When she gets to the nursing home, she's like, "Can you open your phone and uh, so put put my number in it?" She opens her phone for it. She takes her phone and gives it. And she's like, "You can't use your phone unless you know you go through me and then go through management or whatever." So mm. basically, puts this woman in a home. She can't call nobody. They got her meted up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like a prison damn near what they do. Come to find out, she didn't know that this person was, she had a stolen identity. Mm -hmm. And she was the mother of a a Russian mob boss. And now, the nigga's trying to get his mom. You know what I mean? Like, Right. She misses an appointment or something. They find out that she was taken. So And moved and all kind of shit. Yep. Damn, that's heavy shit. Man. And then yep. the Peter Dinklage, the little, the, the little dude from uh, Game of Thrones uh, that plays Tyrion, like midget. I don't dude. watch Game of Thrones. Have you watched fucking, uh, what else has he played in? He pixels with Adam Sandler? No. Pull, pull, <laughs> up, pull up at Peter I know Dinklage. the little fucking uh, little boy you're talking about, I think. Like, yeah, this guy right watched the motherfucker. He's not a little right. boy. He's, he's not right. He's like he's a fucking grown man. He's a little, tiny nigga. I think he's like fifty-two years old. He's a little bitty old, man. Bro. Right? Yeah, but he's a but he's a beast though. Nah, he is though. Even in Game of Thrones, he's, he's a beast. He's dope, bro. He's. A, he, I can't believe you niggas watch First Game of Thrones. First of all, we can come back to that, but man, yeah. Game of Thrones, you can't. I don't know if you can we'll sit com- there watching we'll Game of Thrones, we'll, bro. We'll come to that. Yeah, Jeez, we'll come back to that. Finish our review. But Peter Peter Dinklage plays the Russian mob boss, basically. All right, yeah, come on. And he does a good job, honestly. I, he, dude, I, he's a great actor, honestly. He's a dope actor, bro. He, he, I sat here and believed this nigga was a fucking Russian mob boss, and I did. I did believe it. And uh, so you took it serious. I did. This wasn't like I laughable. Did. I did. And no, nah, he was no, nah, he was legit in it. And so she comes up and finds out, and then dude's like, send her, he's like, he sends one of his, he's like, get her back legally, get it done quick, whatever. Sends a lawyer up in her office like, hey, you made a mistake, you got the wrong person to do this to. I don't, I, don't, I ain't trying to mess up your business, you got a nice little hustle, I understand it, but you got the wrong person. Uh, there's people, she has powerful friends type shit. This bitch is actually crazy, and she's, she's just into it. She's like, oh, really, who is she? Like, she's getting turned on by this shit. And then she's, he's like, look, we can do this the hard way, the easy way. And then he tries to even offer a couple hundred grand to get her up out of there. 150 and grand. And she's like, no, I'll take five million. 
and she's mm. just going crazy with this shit. Mm. And she's seeing this as an opportunity. Long story comes a short, old boy gets upset. He whacks the fucking doctor that made the suggestion to that she needed emergency help. Yeah, mm. makes it look like a suicide. No, I don't. No, he whacked her. They just killed her. No, I know, but that's what it was on the on the news. If you didn't notice, they, they said, said they didn't. Suicide? They said that they didn't label it a suicide yet, but that's what it looked like. Oh, did they? Okay, yeah. I thought that was just a clean cut whack. Nope. And then uh, tried to break. There was a fucking shootout in the nursing home, trying to break the mom up. Mm. And uh, I hate that I'm even spoiling this shit to you because you should watch it. It's actually a good it's movie. It's nice, definitely worth watching. Um. But yeah, it's a lot of good acting. The main character, I'm telling you, she made me hate her so fucking bad. It was to the point that I look in hindsight, I looked at it like this movie was basically two bad guys. Yeah, and it was. It, and you're looking at one and you're hating one more than the other. But mm-hmm. you don't even realize like in the beginning of the movie, he's in the room. Dude hands him a bunch of pictures. He's like, uh, do we get all our meals in? And he's right. like, Right, yeah. I forgot about that. So yeah. he's trafficking women. Yeah, you know, this motherfucker wow. is just and we and that just slips our mind. We hate this bitch so bad that yeah. we're rooting actually for this nigga. <laughs> right. That's crazy. I don't care you know? what he's doing, she's worse. I don't care if he's <laughs> trafficking women. Yeah, this right. bitch is you know, so that I thought that was actually looking in hindsight, like, damn, I was sitting here rooting for this nigga the whole time and he's I did, actually because it's because it was such a small part. It, it took like third like twenty seconds in the movie. And and you didn't the rest of the stuff's going on. You just didn't. You forgot about it. I forgot about it. I right. didn't know. Nothing, I forgot completely about that scene. So, I think uh, it, it it definitely makes you look at yourself. Now I was hating this movie because they was trying to get. You know, she ended up stealing diamonds from him. All kind of shit. He's trying to get it back. And uh, she's just playing like like with with her life. Like this shit is a game. You know what I'm saying? And. Um, Long story short, they try to get her at the end and kill her. She somehow fucking survives. Yeah, that was a little unrealistic to me. A little bit. A little unrealistic. And then she comes out and kidnaps the Russian mob boss. Sets him up. The girl do? Yeah. yeah. Sets him up to where he's a John Doe because he's got a stolen identity too. He faked his death. So basically she's about to have him in checkmate and put him in a fucking nursing home right you know she's his legal guardian and be his legal guardian but so was this like a because the trailer have it kind of looking more like almost like comedic had, like it had nothing to no do there was that. no comedy no, this at is all not dramatic comedy. film yeah this it was is a drama. serious movie bro no comedy and i was rooting for it and as she's she's getting back at the russian mob i'm like this bitch did not just survive this shit kidnap the russian boss now she's about to kill this nigga. Oh, she doesn't kill him, but she's got him in checkmate, and she's about to run this nigga. I'm like, I will be so fucking upset if this bitch don't die. When you texted me that, I was thinking, I was thinking to myself, I hope he's talking about how much he wants this bitch to die. Because so does she die? I was literally about to find out who wrote this fucking movie, and I was going <laughs> to figure out how to send him a message and tell him this is a stupid-ass fucking movie. <laughs> and, uh, so she, go ahead and spoil the shit. So she dies. But it's because it's a little character that they throw in the beginning of the movie mm-hmm. that, that shows like how fucked up of a person she is because she threw somebody's mom in a home and then restricted her son from seeing the mom. Right. Wow. Same situation. It was yeah. a, just a different person. It was an altercation at yep. the beginning and it was like, oh, I'm a boss. You ain't got shit on me type shit. Mm. And then that nigga comes back at the end of the movie because she kidnaps this nigga and checkmates him. And he's like, she's like, give me the 10 million and we'll be fine. You can have everything back. Whatever. He's like, I got a better deal. Let's go into business together. You can use my money and however you need, we'll build corporations and corporations on corporations and pay each Basically other. Basically to do what she's doing now, but she's the CEO of like a... Yeah. And so it fast tracks within a couple of years and she's like a billionaire. And then she's walking out of a news interview talking about how great her life is. And that nigga at the beginning of the movie comes through and shoots her at the end like my mom died and I didn't get to see her at all. On some Bronx Tale type shit. Mm. Yep. <laughs> it's hard. Exactly. I gotta watch this shit. Man. So, <laughs> you know so, what's funny about it is, as bad of a person as he was because of that stuff, I still was a little disappointed at the end that he wasn't the one that killed her. Yeah, because I, I rooted for him so much. But it was a twist that I wasn't expecting. Like, hold up, we're going into business as soon as together? he popped up on the screen, I knew it was going to happen. But yeah, you're right. I didn't. I was like, hold up, we're going into business together. Like. That's some shit I didn't expect him to say. Oh, I, th- I m- never mind. I thought you were talking about the very last scene. But yeah, no, I didn't really. Oh, you said he, you wanted you wanted Peter Dinklage's character to to, to kill her, yeah. right? 
Right, and I or thought... Or have her killed, one of the two. Right, yeah. so, but that scene at the end where they're talking to each other in the hospital, I'm like, damn, he's actually a beast. He's like, he's looking at it from a business perspective, like, damn. And yeah, I guess in the end, he won anyway, because he probably gets to keep that business now that she built. You know? It was so much about her winning, and, right. and, and he, she didn't really even care much about him losing. She wanted to win. He was like, look, we could both win. Mm-hmm. We could go into business together and make each other billions. Yep. You know what I mean? And I thought that was an eye-opening thing for somebody to really be, like, as a boss, like, you know what, let me put my pride aside and, and, and let me navigate the business route right here. And that was some bossy shit. And then she ended up getting whacked anyways, which I'm sure he appreciated also. Right, you know? probably made so a lot of money off of that. Made money off of her, now he owns all her shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. now he's doing what she's doing and he's the fucking bad guy. But we love him. <laughs> You know, so I wonder if they're trying to be on some like woman. This shit, is like this is one of the <clears throat> best films I've seen where it it makes you root for a bad person. Well, you don't have any options. They're all bad. That's true. They're all bad. But I just I guess I mean, you could root for them both to get hit or something. I was end, not you know? rooting for her because I fucking hated her character. I hate her face. Right. Everything. No, I did, too. I, I, she, yeah. You I didn't hate like, it so much you don't even want to fuck her. I didn't like that she had a young, <laughs> I didn't like that she had a young girlfriend. I felt like her girlfriend was too fucking fine for her. Like her girlfriend is fine. Let's be I'm real. like, this bitch should not be with this bitch. She's super fine. She could not even fuck her. You know what I mean? Like you talking about yeah. So overall I give this movie a six and a half. I give it a ooh, I don't know what I give this movie. Is that who that's not her right there? Yeah, that's her yeah. that's her girlfriend. In yep. the movie. Uh, what is a girlfriend? That's girlfriend. She's younger than me. What do you give this movie? Uh, I gave it. A, I gave it like a six, six and a half, right around. There. I, what was I give it a six. What, 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 six? what critiques would you have on it if you had some? I actually don't really have many critiques on it's it. Not a whole. Yeah. I the, think the the the. You gotta have critiques if you rating it. It was there were a couple of moments where that was kind of unrealistic. You didn't. You it just, was like you know. one moment. It was like one or two moments that were unrealistic. It was like that span where she survived because she was like, didn't they put her on like sedatives or something? Right. And then she just woke just up because her car was up. driving. Right. She just fully woke up off of sedatives, like normal driving through the woods too, like not even like. And I like that scene mm-hmm. where he's like, ah, oh, get rid of her. Right. And killed her and decided to kill her. Because he wasn't yeah, really... Yeah, no, I, I was a fan of that. He wasn't tripping on them diamonds like she thought right. he was. Yeah. She thought he she had so much leverage he on He was like, all right, him. you want to be difficult? All right, kill her. But, uh, so yeah, that part bothered me. And then her, like, kidnapping him bothered me, too. Right, that was it's unrealistic, like, Hold too, up. I think. This bitch it ain't got no combat a experience. Boss and, right. She come in through knocking two big-ass henchmen off and then... Two tasers and a gun. And, yeah. So mm, Yeah, that type of shit is... So they be doing this. Those two moments are gonna take this movie down to it. I'm gonna give it a six point eight. What what did I give uh the Fred Hampton movie? What did I give Judas and the Messiah? I think I gave, gave it, it an eight. eight. Yeah. Wow. What, did, what did I give Little Things? I think I gave it a seven point five. Yeah, seven or seven point five, yeah. Okay. It wasn't a classic. This either. is six and a half. Yeah. So uh <clears throat> good movie. Uh, I definitely didn't see the ending coming. <laughs> You know, they put so many things in there that the, that a Bronx Tale ending wasn't even in my mind. You know what I mean? Like yeah. a nigga from the beginning of the movie comes back and claps back. Like, I, I didn't even yeah. see that coming. Nope. And then I didn't see their, what happened between the two, the protagonist and the protagonist or the antagonist <laughs> and the antagonist. I didn't see what, uh, I didn't see that coming either. So right. I the was it was refreshing partner. to have an ending that I didn't I couldn't see that I didn't see it coming. That's kind of what I'm into now. I just I, I really I'm really I fucking with I, yeah. That's like my favorite shit. I feel like they starting to do better jobs at doing mm-hmm. that in movies now. Yeah, niggas be y'all niggas be acting like y'all know everything. So I was I'm happy to hear y'all say that and maybe want to watch. But it now you know what the fuck's about to happen. So it's, it's cool. Right. So now you a do good movie. A good movie. I feel like good. I feel like it's still worth the watch. Though. It's it's yeah. worth the watch, but you kind of need to not know that ending because the whole time I was getting so pissed off that I was texting y'all niggas in the text. <laughs> I was like, nah, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna be super fucking pissed if I watch, spent two hours watching this movie and this shit and this bitch does and this shit. And she wins, right? So, I got what I needed out of that. That might have even made it for a more better move. They would have ended it with the <coughs> bitch winning all the shit. No, I would have hated nah, it. I would have been. I would have been like, like, I, I would have wrote. I would have did some shit I ain't never did before and wrote the fucking writers. <laughs> <laughs> well, they did what they were supposed to do. It ended it high school. Yeah, because I mean, so. even that she was still like the main character. So most movies have the main character end up, you know, winning. Which so it still would have been, 
somewhat expected. The main characters dying is also common too, though. So true. I got it's one. more common nowadays. Back then, it wasn't. It's a crazy it's story. Becoming more common. <clears throat> it's a crazy story, and I and I wonder if it's like one of those movies to set up like. We had you men hate women so much, and she's gay in the movie. Like, what role does that play? Why did they write her as gay? Like, obviously that feminist woman. That yeah. It's like I wonder if they're like, men hate women so much they completely gloss over that this is a murderous, fucking, mob boss who's human trafficking women and all this shit, and they, they hate her more than they hate him, and she's doing the shit that people do in America every day, but just taking advantage of other people for money, you know? So American dream. Her evil was really the lesser evil, but her evil, just seeing it, I think it was a... We had never seen no shit like that. I mean, I guess it depends on your point of view. Was it really the lesser evil? I mean, she literally had... Old people putting it, it's that's not the same. I she mean, took, it's I mean, bad. She took everything from it's, them. Too, she did though, take, know? she was she was robbing people, is right. what she was doing, but yeah. she wasn't kidnapping well, and that, making and them have them in, sex. Yeah, I suppose. You know I, guess, I guess she did with her, but it was that was a different situation. She wasn't I suppose. trafficking humans, yeah. But she was selling old people to old nursing homes. I mean, it's kind of like trafficking <clears> humans, <throat> so. But I would say, if I had to say, her evil was the lesser evil. It's just she was a maniacal bitch also. Yeah, I suppose. So, and Peter Dinklage is just I just, just hated a, her so much in the movie, that's probably why. Peter Dinklage is just a lovable character. And I have mm-hmm. to say, like, I loved when they introduced his character, and he's looking in the fucking donut, like the, the, the donut <laughs> shop, and he's so short that he's, like, sitting in the glass, and he's looking at what he wanted to pick out for his mom, and he looks at the fucking cookie, and he looks at it, he's like... Like, just that <laughs> acting... You notice he, it was you notice it was like the mini cookies too. Yeah, <laughs> just that acting where he was like so excited for that cookie and he looked at it like this is the one and he didn't even say no words and the bitch got it we got it he got it you know like. Well, he's probably there all the time too because he said he's he said in the movie what, just, seven years she's never missed an appointment or whatever. I is. thought that was good acting. I just he's thought a good actor I, without even saying anything, just to look at some fucking donuts or cookies and just be like this is the one I want. You know, mm. I thought that was a good. You just picked that all up just from the look. Just that yeah. Is, that, well, I mean, it's kind of it's a good way to introduce him too because it's like it's it's kind of in a way showing how power, powerful right? he is. Yeah, this nigga's looking at a donut, didn't say rather no than words. him walking up there and be like, "Excuse me, miss, can I get one one of those?" You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just so. it's like, hey. Overall, six and a half is what it looks like we're giving it. You did you say six or six and a half? I said six. Okay, so six point two five. I'm ha- I'm I'm happy with that. This is a good movie. Check it out for little people. Peter Dinklage is rep is representing this motherfucker. So um, that's all I got to say about that. 